Our control panels broke up into two sections, our hard keys and then also our touch screen, which we'll show you in just a second. With our hard key uh, portion of the panel, we do have the main power switch, which is located here on the right hand side of your control panel. Uh, this uh, will turn off the main power to the uh, fusing section and also your uh, control panel. Our panel reset button will reset everything back to your default settings. And then our interrupt key here is used to, if you're in the middle of a large copy job and somebody needs to make a, a few copies, you can interrupt your job and then by retouching the interrupt key, resume where you left off. Our stop key would be used to stop a uh, job that is currently in process. Proof copy would also be a uh, good way of, uh, before you make a large number of copies or sets, that you want to check your settings and make sure your copy quality is to your standards. The uh, start key, uh, when it is uh, blue, is ready to copy. When you first turn it on or if there is a, uh, a problem with the machine, it will actually be an amber-orange. Our copier will allow you to make up to 999 copies at a time. With our C key, we will clear out just the copy count without resetting the whole control panel. Along the top of the control panel on the hard keys, you do have your copy mode, your fax scan, extra scan is not necessarily used, and then if your system is con uh, configured with a hard drive, you would be able to access the uh, user boxes to uh, uh, recall pre previous jobs. The mode memory would be uh, if you wanted to program in certain uh, pre-configured jobs, it would allow you to uh, recall those jobs without having to manually configure them. Whenever uh, one of our service representatives or uh, accounting representatives would call you for a meter count, you would simply go into the utility counter and would allow you to see the copy uh, that had been made. And of course with mode check, would allow you to uh, get a refresh of all the settings that you have set up uh, previous to your job. All right, now we're going to demonstrate the control panel uh, portion with the uh, touch screen. Our touch screen, uh, if you notice here in our information window, will tell us whether we're ready to copy, whether it's warming up, ready for another job, uh, and also will display the number of copies that we have uh, selected. Our touch screen also, as far as our selections, is broken up into four different uh, tabs, and our primary or default tab is our basics. By default, your paper selection will be set to the auto paper, which will allow you to uh, select the paper based off the size of originals that you're copying. If you choose to change or force the copies to a specific size or cassette, then uh, when you touch on your paper, selection will allow you to select either from cassette 1, 2, or 3. This also shows you the size of paper that has been set and the orientation. If I need to uh, feed from my bypass tray, I do have the selection for it here on the side and will show me the settings that I have set for it. Or if I want to change the setting, I can touch on the change and will allow me to select the different types of paper that I want to feed through, typically normal, but I can select from OHP, which is overhead projector, a thin, thick, or envelope. Once I have made my selections, simply touch on my enter. And then if I wanted to go back to my main screen here, touch on my basics to switch back. Our next uh, button here on the basics uh, window is our zoom, which is right, uh, by default is set to uh, 100%. If we want to enlarge or reduce, we can simply touch on the zoom button. And we can either go to auto zoom, which by selecting auto zoom will allow us to select the paper that we want to copy onto and then by the copier making the appropriate adjustments from the original size to the selected cassette size will automatically enlarge or reduce that to fit. Reset back to our defaults and let's go back into our zoom for another selection. If you also notice that here we uh, have the option of going uh, up and down in one percent increment or I'm sorry one tenth of one percent increments so we want to make sure that we understand that this is going to be 98.2%, which is very, very minimal. Uh, so we can use the up and down arrows, or we can also use preset reduction enlargement settings. 
So by example here, if you want to uh, go from an 11 by 17 original to a letter size, we touch on that button and we notice our percentage has changed to 64.7%. We also have the capability of doing an XY zoom uh, enlargement or reduction, which will allow you to um, type in the number that you want to uh, select and then select enter. And you can also uh, set the presets of uh, reduction enlargement that you may use on a regular basis that is not a part of the standards. If we want to set a zoom, we would simply touch on the set zoom and the button that we want it to be locked into. Our third button under the basics is our simplex to duplex. And as we can see here by default, it is for a single sided original to a single sided copy. If we want to make a selection different from this, simply touch on the uh, simplex to duplex and very simply select whether my original type is single sided or double sided. And then whether my copy is uh, that I want to come out to be single sided or double sided. Our last two buttons here on the uh, basics window towards the bottom of our screen here is our finishing which will allow us to select from finisher options. Uh, the default uh, for systems that do not have a finisher attached to them would be a non-sort. Uh, if your system does have a finisher your default selection will be a sort. Uh, in addition to uh, with the uh, finisher you would also have selections in this area for your staple positions. Then our uh, last button here under the basics window is the mixed originals. We would select this if we were wanting to copy originals that were of different sizes such as letter and legal uh, mixed together. Our second tab uh, would be our combined originals. And what this will allow us to do would be make selections uh, such as two into one which will allow us to take two originals and reduce them down to fit side by side onto a single sheet of paper or we could even select four into one. So it would give us the capability of uh, copying four originals to one. Our third tab under the uh, tab selections is our quality and density. And as you can see here, we can select from text, text photo, photo mode, or dot matrix. The dot matrix is a simply a black or, or white dot uh, as opposed to any grayscale. I also have the selection of changing my density uh, levels. Uh, by auto, we'll look at the original and try to lighten or darken automatically, or we can manually lighten or darken, and you can see the selector moving appropriately. Our uh, last tab here under the uh, on the screen is our application. And as you can see, we have several, uh, actually nine, uh, different uh, selections we can make from here. These are typically uh, more of a specialty type features. So if you would, uh, we'll, in order to keep the uh, training video short as possible, uh, please refer to your uh, operator's manual or give us a call to uh, get more information.